time at District D. That's me. The lighting's weird out here. It is time for another meal prep video. This is not a big meal prep video. This is a couple thing meal prep video, or this is a prep video. So there's a few fun things on here I thought I'd share. So I don't even know what they're going to be yet because I haven't really planned it out. I do know there's going to be a WW Fied Dunkin' Donuts refresher hack. It's just a copycat refresher, very low in points, zero in fact. And there's going to be a powdered sugar try. I'm going to try to make my own powdered monk fruit with granular monk fruit. Maybe a few of you have done that. I've never even thought of it. Just didn't even think that's all, all I had to do was, you know. Yeah, sometimes I'm late to the game, but I'm here. And there may be one other thing. I'm not sure. I have a really busy weekend, so this may be a, an incredibly short prep video. So if it is, I apologize. And we will probably won't see you next week because I have a wedding, but... I'll be here all week, so let's roll what I have on for you guys. All right, I'm a little obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts refreshers. They're tea and fruit juice or coconut milk and fruit juice mixed together to form a refreshing summer beverage. But they're over 140 calories. I'm not sure of the points, but you know it's gonna be not good. So I thought I would come up with my own refresher and see how it tastes. So I have a cup of cold um, brewed green tea that's chilled. And I have a half a cup of this no sugar added. Let me grab it. Tampico Zero Sugar Citrus Punch. Now you can put any juice you want. I was going to get the cranberry, but this is all the Dollar Tree had. Yes, I went to the Dollar Tree. Spare no expense for this channel. So I have a nice large glass. And then I'm going to add my tea. Put this without spilling it. Yay. And my half a cup, so it's one cup of tea and a half a cup of juice of your choice. Okay, now I have my little cool little blender. So we're gonna blend it up so it's all nice and combined. They don't have any, you know. I hope it tastes good. Alright. And we're going to add a few cubes of ice and a straw. <laughs> and then I got more cubes. Let's see if my green tea refresher is at least half as good as Duncan's tea, green tea refresher. All right, let's taste our refresher. Now this is zero points. I have to say, D, not bad, not bad at all. You could change up the fruit juices because they have pineapple mango they have peach passion fruit and they have some other one. I think it's strawberry something. So if you could find a low point or even sugar-free juice. Now, again, you only used to half a cup. It's not even a full serving of juice. So you might be able to get it for zero or one point and way better in points than Duncan. Caffeinated and delicious and quite refreshing. So you can go to the Dollar Tree and try that brand, or you can, like I said, go to your local supermarket and get any of the low sugar. There is, I didn't get to my local store. That's why I hit the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree did not steer me wrong. Could you use black tea? I don't know. Duncan uses green, so I used green. Um, they also use coconut milk. So I don't have any coconut milk, but I don't really like coconut milk. But if you like coconut milk, you could try mixing coconut milk with your favorite juice and see how it comes out. I don't know, but this one is a win. Delicious and refreshing. And yes, I am converted to metal straws. Okay, we want to see if we can make monk fruit, regular granular, into powdered monk fruit. Save ourselves some time and some money. So let's see if this powders. Sounds like a good theme. All right, I have what I have left in my Ace Cools 5-in-1 tool that I've had here on my channel. We had a giveaway a few months back. Let's see if we're going to see if this bad boy can powder it up. Well, folks, 
it worked. What I will say is the more you blend it, the better it gets. You have to stop and scrape because sometimes it gets to the bottom and you just want to scrape that all so it all gets incorporated because the top will be light and fluffy and the bottom will be gritty. So I did this for about 10 minutes. Every two and a half minutes I stopped, scraped down, and then reblended. So yeah, a little less than 10 minutes about I have powdered monk fruit. Look at that. How stinking cool is that? No more buy the extra. I will just use the powder, the granule I have, and make my own. You know? You know, win-win for me, I think, because I don't have to worry about buying and spending the extra money when I already have the monk fruit here. But does it have the cooling effect as the regular monk fruit? Well, let's see. Shall we make a glaze with it just to see how it glazes? Maybe we will. I don't have anything to glaze, though. <sighs> we'll have to see. All right. You know I was feeling like chocolate chip cake. So we want to make a light chocolate chip cake. So in my bowl, I have one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. You can use any flour you want. I'm using all-purpose. Let's put our dry ingredients in. Salt. Do about a quarter teaspoon. Remember, all baked goods need salt. Because they just do. <laughs> I know my aunt used to be um, funny because she had high blood pressure. She would never put salt in anything. But... You know, baked goods need a little bit of salt. And we'll do a teaspoon of baking powder. So you need a little bit of our eyes on there. All right. Let's get that all. Mish, mix, mix. This is, remember, this is for one. You absolutely can make double, triple, you know. Let's put our wet ingredients. All right. I put an egg here somewhere. You'll find it. <laughs> there it is. Crack an egg. Now, could you leave the egg out? You probably could, but for me, eggs are zero, so I definitely add it. But if you don't want to add eggs, then don't add eggs. You could use like a one of those those vegan eggs if you wanted, or you know, just leave it out. Use egg white. I'm going to use a whole container of applesauce, unsweetened. And some monk fruit sweetener. You know, if you have cake, you gotta make it sweet. Oh, my spoon is buried in here. All right. We're gonna do about two tablespoons because I feel like I like my cake sweet. Now, again, you don't want two tablespoons, then don't add it. This is your cake. You make it the way you want. Let me see the spoon back in. All right. There we go. I want to put a little bit of yogurt, not a lot. I don't want to make it too wet. So we're just going to do like a teaspoon. I want to add a little bit of richness. There we go. And honestly, this Faye is the bomb diggity. I don't even need to make my own. This is better than homemade yogurt. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And vanilla extract, because this is a vanilla cake, you want to taste vanilla, right? Right! But if you want an almond cake, put almond in. We're making a chocolate chip. So I always think it's very good to have really good vanilla. And that is it, my friends. Let's just mix this all together. See how quick these things come together? I mean, I pretty much do these live with you and it's really comes together nicely. I mean, could you use less flour? You probably could, but you could, then I would cut back on some of the wet ingredients. But like I said, if you don't want to use an egg, you don't have to. But the egg, to me, amps up the protein, as does the yogurt. You know, it's just a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon more of protein you're getting in the cake. It smells really good. All right, we're going to go get our prepared. Well, I'm going to put my chocolate chips in. Now, I'm going to use a point's worth of lilies. Now, normally, you know me, I always use a 13, but this is a chocolate chip cake. So you really want to have it chocolate chip forward. Now, could you get these chips and crush them? You sure could, and maybe we could get more chip for your buck there, but I'm going to keep them whole. And 30 is one point. So we're going to count them out. I do them in twos. Two. 
6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 30. You could have said, oh, you could leave some for the top, but you know what? You know it's a chocolate chip cake. I'm not looking for those chips to be on top. Now, could you add more? Sure could. You could add. You want to add another point? Add more chips. This is your cake. You can put as many chips in there as you like. All right. We've got my prepared pan, and my oven is preheated to 350. Okay. The cue I got at the yard sale. And I'll just dump her in. Now, she'll take about half an hour to bake, but all ovens are different. I would say check your oven around 25 minutes because you don't want to overcook it nothing worse than a brown vanilla cake and if i always you know my oven gets a little bit older it's pretty new now but i would get that little um temperature thing and hang it in there so i know what the temperature is at all times because you just never know so i'm going to bake this for half an hour i'm going to come back and we're going to unmold it, it smells good all right Cake is out, baked for half an hour, popped her out, and she's cooling. Look at that. All right, what we're going to do is I'm only going to have half. I'm sharing half. And then I'm going to cut it in half, cut it in half, and put a little bit of Ready Whip inside and on top. Well, we'll dig into this later, gators. All right, time for another Dunkin' Refresher. Because I'm enjoying these. So I have one cup of green tea that I steeped and cooled. That's and cool. I'm going to put a half a cup of the Body Armor Light Peach Mango because that's what I'm feeling today. And Whizzer Up. Add some ice and I'm ready to go. All right, this Body Armor, one cup is two points. So half a cup would be one point. And I really enjoy it. It's really got a nice flavor and I like peach and mango. So I like the combination. I thought for a point I was willing to pay it. But again, you use juice, whatever juice you use. And I'll use my juice. Let's see how it tastes. I like this one better than the other one. Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot like the Dunkin' Refresher. So for one point, I'm exceedingly happy. And here is the finished cake. I did put a points worth of fat-free Ready Whip and a few other extra chocolate chips because I'm only having half. So I know I don't have all the points worth of chocolate chips in this half, but I'm hoping that it tastes really good. It looks really good, but let's have a taste. I only feel like half, so. I probably could have fit in all of it on, on a good day, but I really wanted half tonight. All right, let's taste. This is so good. Hits the note that I wanted to hit. Is it the same cake last week? No. Is it good enough? Absolutely. I'm on plan. I will come back to tell you the points. So good. I need more. Well, that was it. Quick, short, and sweet, but yummy. That cake for me, I think, came out to five points for the whole cake. I only had half, so I guess you got a point up. Two and a half points for three points. Um, it's a point. I use a point for the whipped cream. And if you count your applesauce, that's a point. Your flour is three points. And if you have an egg, so it'll be in the rest of the Weight Watchers doohickey. And I will have it on the website, dishwithd.com. So it was really good. Everybody really liked it. Even the boys liked it. And they, Oh, and the point for the chips. That's right. There was an extra point for the chips. So it was probably three four five maybe six points for me for the whole thing but again i only had half so it was three points still three even though i forgot a point but see with the with ww math so yeah and, and half was absolutely plenty it was a nice piece so i definitely would recommend half but hey if you have six points 
you you have you have at it so thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell let you know when i upload i upload several days a week we go live several days a week so you don't want to miss a minute of all the fun stuff so that was off this video i think i said that i don't remember i don't know it's late it's getting dark sun's starting to go down this video will not get up in time today so have a great week and we will dish another day my lovelies